All right, hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Violet, episode 23. We are going down into, uh, what you call it, um, about a, uh, crater or whatever. Hey, over here. Uh, I took two days off, basically, because <laughs> I've, I've been a little bit tired. Um, this is, uh, the Zero Gate. It was made to research or researchers could try to observe the insides of the Great Crater of Pata. The folks call it Area zero, 0. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area 0 apparently is where uh, Mirajan was born or something like that. Maybe we'll be happy that it's finally come back home. Now that, now that, or no, not that I really care or anything. In a way, it's our new, two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the zero gate. That's where we should head in. The way home. But yeah, um, I do apologize for my little absence. Um, I'm trying to make it up to you guys and work on a few other videos. I might start up a new series as well to alternate in between Pokemon and this, so I don't know what my alternate series is going to be. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hola, Majora. I've been said there be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she did a battle with awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're annoying little pests at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beat be in a battle. That, that's so nice of you. But more importantly, why is it so dark and where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is. Weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? I, I turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. Okay. I hacked into the system control and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy EV backpack. Penny. Um, I guess my name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I am the Mona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Or you talk like way too much. The director introduced us when uh, you need someone good to protect, she's not no brain. Anyways, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Majora. I'm not really the adventurer's type, but I owe you Majora, and I pay my debts. He's surprisingly old-fashioned like that, and of course everyone knows me, Arvin, by love well, include my robust in cooking and my magic identification in progress. Hello Majora, I've been inspecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad. Probably. What, the Professor Turo? And minus two ID number eight zero. Penny, I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor, oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. Maybe, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, do you uh, tell your dad about us? Well, I've done that. To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the Great Crater of Pato. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see to your right. I'm um, dead. Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Make sure there ain't nothing up here. Don't see anything. Let's, let's 
go down. If I remember right, there is not an actual elevator down. Uh, what is that? I am the identification in progress. I then need confirm. Access ran to lower level. Really open for us automatically. Not what it looks like to me, like someone's controlling this thing so remotely. Once see you step through, you'll be above area zero. Majora, you have brought uh, Marani with you. Uh, yeah. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize more gliding trick, well, you should be able to descend into the depths. It reach area zero. What, isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say uh, Miranda can fly? When you reach the bomb, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. We're all <laughs> eroding people into stuff just like always. I can't wait to see what your Pokemon li live down in area zero. Let's go. I draw it, is she like in full of fear or what? I guess we better go too. I gotta look in the rooms. Oh, okay, apparently it's not gonna let me. I can't ride him here. Majora, ready for the, for the worst? Uh, yeah. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out your Pokemon gears and we'll be off. I look so safe. I... What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights? That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to stare when we go together. How does this, well, how does that logic work? Get on. <laughs> I'm not even on it. <laughs> Well, let's see. And now I'm back here again. I think I might have died once or twice there. What's wrong? Yes. It has to drill back in his ball. He's probably just hungry or something. Oh, it's scared. Wait a second, where's the student council girl? I was actually curious, I forgot where she went. What, what, she's gone? You don't think she... Everyone, have you seen this? Her zero is amazing. Come on already. I guess your ability would be on um, tempo, huh? I'll take four humans identified conditions, ice factor, vital signs, all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could have possibly complain about landing like that? That is good. I have discerns you might fail given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hm, I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Ah, uh, you're, 
were worried about us. That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the Zero Lab. It's the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is bare, barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the, the crater. All right. At each station, you'll be able to dis disable one of the locks. Do so to make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, it's let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds like a video Jimmy when you say it out loud, huh? Come on time for find out way to the deepest part of area zero. Pokemon I've seen already. Oh, I can't ride him for some reason. Oh, yeah. They have like the really good sounding. This is inside the Great Crater. Feels different from just seeing it in our textbook sometimes. Normally, we never. Oh, I can't. I can't keep. They keep skipping and I'm trying to walk and make sure I'm not walking and stuff. But they are saying some uh, interesting dialogues if you want to read as we're going. I want that. Why, why can't they even like, run full speed? Or is it just in deep water? I will go faster, but... I know there's supposed to be uh, some newer Pokemon down here. Uh, these are all... There's a Chansey! Jump Bluffs. Little fairy guy. Fairy. Oh, I guess they're they're catching up on like everything we we've, we've done. Yeah, I've kind of been racing through my Pokédex. So, I should have a good destiny. Like most of these Pokemon. But if I see, like, little. Oh crap. Uh, flashes, I'm gonna look. Because there is new stuff here. I bet that's what we're looking for. Yeah, it is. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, well, what were they called? Research stations. Hmm, well, I was close. Oh, you have such a great memory, Penny. But 
what's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Shing. Uh, Spoken with fairies. Whoa, we double that line? I have one of these. I don't even know if I have one of these. Oh, I do. Okay. Like, you did it like let me hit it like once, maybe. Are there gonna be a lot more of these rare equipment down here, you think? You think that was something, please? You got no idea how terrifying it really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy UT, let's just head inside the research station. If I would have came here first before I went out and tried to do a bunch of my uh, Pokedex doing, a lot of the stuff was already here. Oh, are these ancient rooms? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a wait station for those surveying areas. So that's one of the areas of bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. I'm sure if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock in the lab using a central panel. Alright. Leak. Lock disabled. Well done. Please continue to your efforts as the remaining research station. I'm not too worried about it. I'm oh, sorry about the yawn. Uh, I just now go down. back and check. Second research station is about time too.
you list it and then and take it further. I thought you have a bit more stand on student council girl. Eh, I'm just full of surprises. That was an compliment, you know. It's a deadly bird. Hey, it looks like a deadly bird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. That's not a deadly bird. Deadly? Oh, yeah, so cute. It's not a deadly bird. D. D D D bird. What the what? Right, it's battle time. See, I don't know if they're like all steel types, just they look like metal. Which apparently this one is not. Side is I don't think I can catch it. No, I'm pretty sure they just want you. To oh, that hell with your head, man! Say, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bar, wasn't it? No kidding. Well, let's stay inside already. Right. One more jump stare like that, and I'm done for. Awesome. Let's get in here and see how many we can get to today. Those look pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like while Pokemon don't come in here, we should be safe with the catch of breath. But seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been worried about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. And what's that book? Monks of Area Zero, we descend further into Area Zero we began. We had a bunch of the mystery Pokemon though, we wonder if they uh, compact roll beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance I noticed a passing resemblance to a Pokemon known as Dolphin, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggests that it is biologically separate. To say nothing of it, uh, treads of treads of iron. Monks are very zero. So they are aren't actually Pokemon. I don't really know. What do you think, bro? I think they really are just Pokemon. Yes, yeah, I mean they look different, sure, but they use moves in battle just like the Pokemon we know. I still have some asked for an explanation. Professor. Some of the life forms that we see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in the distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I am located just hangs a time machine. It's some of the future Pokemon to this place. So that thing my dad spent forever researching down here? He's actually got it working. Indeed, though, the cost was catastrophic. The cost. By a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It's certainly possible to travel to the future, however, 
for a being such as a human, it wouldn't not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Bad you. Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If, if possible, I would like to speak when you... Or when we can see, uh, meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Majora, please use the switch panel here to save a little area lock. Hmm. Alright. Well done. Please continue your efforts for main research station. Hey, Majora. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expected to fit. Uh, to fix whatever uh, oh, all this is you are. I think you should be the one carrying it. Uh, we obtained the battle book. Record exhibition from the author Heath went on with the great creator of Pedo. Okay. Take care of it for me, okay, Majora? Alright. Alright guys, we're going to end it here halfway down. Uh, we should be finishing this up tomorrow. Uh, please like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode.